You got to get everything by 11 o'clock. I start drinking at 11. <laughs> you get everything good after that. You know what, Chaney, the wolf man? He used to tell, when he was like in his 50s, he would tell the production people, he said, get everything you can get. Get all the stuff you need from me by noon. Because afternoon, I can't guarantee. Because he'd start drinking at lunch, and then he'd be drunk in the afternoon. So he said, get everything you want. By noon. Nice. Because that, after that, I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> you really tell them that. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Well, I'd like to uh, welcome Rick Farmelo to our studio, and uh, also I'd just like to thank him so much for joining our animation team. So thank you uh, for um, coming by. In case you don't know Rick, um, basically he animated... Who doesn't your... know me? Exactly. Come on, <laughs> uh, he basically animated your whole childhood, um, so with such movies as... Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, this worked on a Simpsons movie, Aladdin, The Furious Five, Princess and the Frog. There's a lot more. Uh, the, is that the boxes you have? Oh, no, well, this, well, I'm going to read some more because, dear oh, gosh, man, okay. it, I, I got tired typing up all your credits. Okay, uh, The Great Mouse Detective, Oliver and Company, The Rescuers Down Under, uh, The Swan Princess, The Prince of Egypt, The Road to El Dorado, Shrek, um, The Wild Thorn Thornberries, The Rug um, the Rugrats Go Wild, Curious George, Kung Fu Pan Princess and the Frog, How to Train Your Dragon, the short film, um, uh, Box Trolls, Tom and Jerry. So why I have you um, in the studio, um, I was just hoping to ask you a few questions. Are you, are you cool with that? Sure. Cool, cool, cool. Give us an idea how you got started in animation. Well, how I got started was, you know, I mean, it went way back to when I was a kid and I saw Pinocchio for the first time. And I was, I must have been like five or six, you know, and I was just fascinated by those moving images, you know. I mean, I, ever since I was little, I would draw all the time. But just seeing that stuff move up on the big screen was just... Um, sort of awe-inspiring. I was like, I don't know how, how they do that or what that is, but I remember thinking, I, I want to do that. I want to see if I can do that. So I remember getting home and dr drawing my own Pinocchio book, you know, based on the movie that I saw. And I would do that once in a while. I'd go see a film and I'd get home and I'd draw the book, you know, draw the, 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 the sort of comic book oh, yeah. version of the yeah. movie I saw. So anyway, I just kind of always drew. And then by the time I was about 10, 9 or 10, I realized it's not just cartoons I want to draw, I actually want to animate. I want to be an animator. That's how I decided I wanted to, you know, pursue that as, as a profession. So everything I did from that point on was geared towards being an animator. It's one of the hardest addictions because once you start animating, you know, and seeing your characters come to life, you, you just can't leave it alone. You just, you're like, I'm hooked, you know. Did you find that, that well, true yeah, as well? Yeah, especially well, if they turn out good. Yeah, yeah, that's true. In the true. beginning, that's I was true. like, yeah. oh, this isn't what I was thinking <laughs> it was going to be. I mean, you know, you spend your whole life trying to get that scene oh, yeah. the way you envision it. You yeah. know? And as you get better, basically you just, you're able to get across what you wanted to get across. So, you know, it's just, it's a process that just goes on for the rest of your life. You're like... You know, you may do a scene that, that everybody else seems is, thinks thinks is really good, and you're like, it just isn't quite what I was picturing in my head, but it, it works. It just isn't, you know, all that I imagined. So, um, but I think as you get better, I realized the things that were in my imagination, I was able to more successfully convey, you know, in my scene. What would what would be your dream animation um, character to work on? A, a bad guy, a dragon? A, um, um... You know, I've never done bad. I've never done a bad guy. Oh, interesting. Um, I've done bad animation. Yeah. I've never done a bad like a uh, like a villain. Oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, my favorite villain's Captain Hook. I think. Uh -huh. I like Captain Hook and Shere Khan. Shere Khan would be probably too hard just because. Oh dear he's, gosh. He's so realistic. Yeah. Yeah. And, and all the stripes and everything. Yeah. But Captain Hook, I would love to animate Captain Hook as far as a. Because he's a villain, yeah, and I just really love that character. So that would be he would be really fun to do. Oh, very. Let's see if we can get yeah. some of that in uh, some upcoming scripts for that, you. Yeah. What would be your your dream animation project to direct? To direct, you know, I don't have anything particularly like in mind as far as I want to do like a uh, you know a Tom and Jerry feature or a Alvin and the Chipmunks feature or a Mickey Mouse feature or or, or whatever. I just I would like to just a comedy. I mean, I think what I would love to to either direct or just work on is just an out and out comedy because most of the films, they you know it's good that they have messages and stuff. But I like like to do just like a romp, like it's a mad mad madman world in animation. Just have a whole bunch of characters trying to get one thing and they're trying to outdo each other and just like a fun adventure like that. I mean, that's that's kind of what I the kind of film I would love to do. Mm. You know, and I don't. 
I remember back in the, in the 60s when I was a little boy and I'd go see stuff like The Great Race and, um, you know, things like that. I, the, in Mad Mad World, of course, those are sort of those types of films, these sort of romps, and they took you to other countries and all over the world. And I just thought that was, it was such a cool adventure, you know. And I, I, that's the kind of film I would like to do, that, that type of a, of a, you know, kind of a, a worldwide adventure with a whole bunch of fun characters in it. Very, very cool. Let's yeah. see if we can get some scripts to, uh, Let's do to that. match yeah. that. What piece of advice would you give to a young artist? Um, well, you know, it's, I get asked that a lot, you know, and um, the main, you know, the, the, the simple thing is just don't give up on your dream. You know, um, if you really want to do, do, do what you want to do, if you, you know, if you want to be an animator or a storyboard artist or whatever, I mean, just, just really don't give up on it. Don't let people talk you out of it. It is really hard to be successful and there's a lot of competition and it's probably more com competitive than it's ever been. When I was younger, it was more of a cottage industry. There's, you know, there are really good people doing it, but not everybody wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And then I think because a lot of the films that I worked on and other people worked on, Pixar and, and all these, and you know, when I was younger, uh, you know, it was, it was Don Bluth and mm -hmm. Ralph Bakshi and Disney were like the only real feature studios. Now there's so many, oh, yeah. you know, there's, 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 20, there's Blue Sky, there's yeah. Sony, there's, there's Pixar, there's DreamWorks, there's Warner Brothers. Yeah. I mean, all over the place. So there's a lot more competition now, yeah. but there's a lot more avenues to, to, to do this stuff too. So just, I would just say, just don't give up on your dream. I mean, you have to work really, really hard. You have to learn all the new programs yeah. because yeah. there's so many different mediums now that animation uh, can be expressed in. It's mm -hmm. not just drawing anymore. Yeah. There's stop motion. There's always been stop motion. But there's, you know, there's obviously CG, which is mm -hmm. Pixar and Disney. All the big studios are doing CG. Mm -hmm. um, but there's there's new programs like TV Paint mm -hmm. and, and um, there's Harmony and... Toon Boom. Toon Boom, yeah. yes, Toon yeah. Boom. So uh, there's a lot of different new programs. Yeah. So just learn as much as the new programs as you can yeah. so you can be versatile. And just to give a call, I do love Digicel. So oh, Digicel is yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Digicel is a great animation program, too. Yeah, it's a really old one. I, mean, yeah. I, used, to, yeah. I, I used to use that Very when I would shoot my own tests, yeah. Well, uh, I just can't thank you enough for uh, coming on out, and I'm really excited to see how we uh, make our little short film together. I am too. I'm really excited. Yeah. I can't thank you enough for uh, coming on out, and I'm really excited to see how we uh, make our little short film together. And I am too. To I'm really project, excited. So. This is a really great studio. Yep. Even though you guys kind of scrimp on the water bottle. <laughs> We're trying to save money, man. I've never <laughs> seen a four ounce water bottle. I usually, you know, most of the places have the 16 ounces. This is a shot glass. It was going to be a thin But you got to put the money where in the movie. <laughs> not, 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 you got to pay the artist. Yeah. yeah, not these perks like water. <laughs> and you have to bring your own toilet paper in the bathroom, too. That's okay. That's, you're putting, you need to put the money into the film. So. Absolutely. But I'm very happy to be associated with your studio, and, and I'm looking forward to doing some fun work.